speaking of things failing, hopefully we're not going to see something fail. <laughs> and that is, of course, please, yes. please don't fail. <laughs> <laughs> this morning, as we're recording this, on, as we're recording this on Thursday, um, Lab Padre has the uh, live stream footage, and they posted this compilation time lapse of uh, serial number four Starship rolling out to the pad to be tested. Um, this is very, very exciting, and I, of course, we owe the people down at Boca Chica uh, so much thanks for always covering this stuff so well, and Lab Padre for the awesome live stream coverage they're able to produce. It's just amazing. But yeah, yeah. check that out. They're rolling. They're getting more. Like, look at the look at how detailed and nuanced the rocket is. I mean, there just seems to be so much more, you know, bits on these than, than they used to. It just looks. It's looking more and more like a rocket each time it rolls out to the pad. You know, look at all the different COPVs. I don't know. I still think I could get some corn out of that thing. <laughs> it, yes, it does in many ways still just look like a giant silo. I know, I'm looking at this silo. like, huh. The, the Gaineses are going to make a mall out of that thing. Yes. Yes. I, I can't wait for the people to be scratching their head that have no idea what you're just talking about. <laughs> They'll figure it out. You have to join us on Patreon and you'll understand that joke. <laughs> but the cool thing is... Um, Let's see. Where did that go? I don't know. But uh, Elon basically said that uh, serial number five will not be, um, or the serial number four will not receive arrow on it yet, but that they are tweaking arrow again. So the flappy, flippity flappity uh, Elanorons, as we're calling them, those are uh, apparently going to be different by the time we see them compared to remember the Mark One prototype. We saw the kind of the flaps on it. Um, and then we haven't really seen a vehicle with flaps on it since. And it sounds like by the time they attach to serial number five, hopefully maybe number six, then um, they will be different. <laughs> mm. As as is everything. Yeah. <laughs> when are we going to see this thing fly? This one should static fire and it this the whole like it does it's so milestone based, you know, like this doesn't happen until this happens, until this happens, until this happens. So first we have to see the the this one survive cryoproofing at pressure. So where they cryogenically, you know, fill it to pressure with cryogenic propellant with uh, with liquid nitrogen. So we have to see that first, it has to survive that, and then they have to install the raptors, do a static fire of the raptors. Then we'll see serial number four probably do a hop or two with the raptors in a similar way to um, to Starhopper, but it'll be you know three engines, so it's definitely a bigger milestone than Starhopper. And then we'll see. Um, then hopefully we'll start seeing the next one, serial number five or six, or whatever, roll out with with the flaps and really start properly flying. So my guess like going up twenty k and belly flopping. Yeah, my guess, and I'm just becoming more and more realistic about this. Like, I, I trust me, the people. I think if everything goes right, it, we could see a twenty kilometer hop in five weeks, ish. But if just that's not how things work, and I'm not thinking that we hopefully won't see any more like blow ups or collapses, but even if things don't collapse or blow up, some, you know, sometimes a thing just happens like, well, this one engine's kind of acting up. They have to take the engine off, blah, blah, blah work on it, mm. blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm guessing three months based on like how long it took to get Starhopper out to the pad and stuff like that. But it's so hard to predict. It's so hard to predict. Yeah. So. Even after they get all the tests and, and whatnot and we're belly flopping and things are looking really good on the Starship, they still have to build the Super Heavy. Correct. But before that's, it's even functional. That's, I mean, relatively, I'll quotes, relatively easy, you know, at this point. Look at how quickly, because it's just stacking more rings, basically. Can you, you know, someone tell this... Boeing this? <laughs> but it's, you know, the same bulkheads and everything. Um, it'll be a different thrust structure at the bottom, but... Um, but, you know, in relative, it's just adding more rings, basically. Hmm. It, I don't think that's a big deal compared to just getting the overall construction process down. The over Because they're focusing on manufacturing. Look at how quickly they're, you know, it was only two weeks ago or whatever. They blew up serial number three, you know, maybe three weeks ago. And we were like, oh, no. But look, serial number four is literally right back on. A whole different rocket is going onto the launch pad in three weeks. Like, hmm. It's insane. So therefore, like, you know, extrapolate that out. Keep speeding it up. Keep, you know, eventually they could build us a, a super heavy in a month. So, yeah, pretty trivial compared to hmm. getting everything figured out. 
So I don't know. It's just weird. It's hard to predict. <laughs> well, now that we've talked about it, something is going to happen in the next 24 hours before people actually hear this that uh, will make everything we're saying obsolete. A hurricane's going to roll through a micro hurricane called a tornado. It's going to roll through. And... <laughs> <laughs> micro cane. <laughs> Dang Michael it. Michael Kane? What? Michael Kane. <laughs> Michael Kane. <laughs> but yeah. I, I'm Are hoping I'm cocaine? I'm so ready to see a proper static fire with three raptors. Yeah. That will be awesome. And I, unfortunately, I don't think I'll be there to see it at this rate. And mm. very few people probably will. But I just I do need to be there for the 20 kilometer hop, though. I don't I don't care. <laughs> like I'll social distance <laughs> from I'll, I'll build car. a sealed in. Yeah, I seriously I'll I'll make a biohazard factory in my car or something like. <laughs> well, you have the spacesuit. I've got a spacesuit, like a legit. Yeah, <laughs> finally, finally, got a use for it. <laughs> hey, thanks for checking us out, guys. I hope you enjoyed this clip from our podcast. We do a weekly show here on YouTube, so make sure and subscribe to our Ludicrous Future, where we discuss all the things that are going to make our future totally ludicrous. You can join us here on YouTube or at any of your favorite podcast places. Plus, if you want to get some behind-the-scenes stuff and join a cool community, you can help support the channel at patreon.com. Thanks a lot. Thanks, guys.